Hello, I'm Lukas Veseli, the first student who benefited from an interest-free loan, which is now being offered by friends of UCR to many others. In a few days I'll be back in Brussels at the European Parliament in my office, but now I'm in Prague on holidays, back in the room where I spent many years as a high school student. I return here about three times a year so that my daughter can spend some time with her grandparents. We are about eight hours by car from Brussels or, Mid or Middleburg. The distance is less than 1000 kilometers. The distance to Cambridge, where I did my masters, is only slightly bigger. Today, with my job in Brussels, I can travel this distance quite easily, and the main problem is to find the time. But in 2004, when I was coming to Middleburg to study with a scholarship, or in 2007, when I received my admission letter from the University of Cambridge, this distance felt much longer. I was young, with only teenage experience, and I didn't have rich parents. What I had was motivation, intellect, and potential for the future. Today in Europe, distances can be quite short for those of us who have built up good careers and friendships across borders. But distances can still be quite long for people from low-income families. Geographically, the Czech Republic is very close to the center of Europe. But guess what level the average wage has reached in 2017 after 13 years of EU membership? The average wage in my country today is about 1,000 euros, and most people earn less than that, so the median is like 900. In countries further to the east, the distances are longer and the wages are even lower. The funny thing is that my life was changed completely with several thousand euros of investment, several thousand that my parents didn't have, but that I received in scholarships and interest-free loans at the right time. The worrying thing is that today in Europe there are many politicians who would like to make distances great again, who would like to take back control over nations and uh, the only promising career perspective they would like to offer to young people with ambition would be to work obediently within the structures of an authoritarian regime or within companies friendly with the authoritarian state. This is already happening in Hungary and Poland and it risks happening in the Czech Republic too after elections in October. So the message I would like to share with you from my teenage room in Prague in August 2017 is this. Please let's do all we can to keep reducing distances in Europe. Please let's keep giving people opportunities. With friendship, understanding and cooperation, Europe will do well together. But if we allow borders to be rebuilt in our minds, and if we allow distances to grow again, we will soon be looking at a Europe full of wasted opportunities.